hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to look into a quick tip and this quick tip i will be discussing if and else if versus multiple ifs now let us try to understand all of this concept with an example here i have a data set in which i have two variables the first one is q1 and q2 and we are going to use this data set which are creating in here and we are going to try with if else if and also using multiple ifs the only difference between both of these data steps is we have pretty much everything same but there is else in here and we don't have else in here now i have also have a title and then in the title i am writing if and else if for the proc print which prints this particular data set and in here in the title i have if and multiple ifs for this proc print which will print this data set whenever we mention just proc print without any data set name it just prints the previous data set which was created now let us quickly run all of this and see our results and try to understand our results now if you look into our results for the title if and else if we can see that the second observation in here and in here are different but remaining else is same why is this so let me explain this by copying this code and then trying to explain in here in here i am saying if q1 equal to 1 then nu var equal to 10 you can see that q1 equal to 1 here and here so our nu var value will be 10 and 10 in here now the important point to remember here is now we have our else if statement so what else if does is it does not look into the rows or observations which were already captured in if statement so here it looks into else if q2 is greater than equal to 2 then new var equal to 20 and then what it does is it maps the new var value to 20 and if you look into the results for our if else if we can see that we have 10 10 and 20 now let us try to understand what is happening in multiple ifs here now let me delete this new var values in here and let's try to understand this again so if q1 equal to 1 then new var equal to 10 it again gives the value of 10 in here and also it gives the value of 10 in here now we have another if what if does is it always looks into all the observations unlike else if so it again looks into the first observation and sees whether this q2 is greater than equal to 2 it is not so it will not do anything in here and in here it looks into the next observation and it sees that q2 is equal to 2 what we got as a value of 10 in here it will be overwritten in here and then again in the third row anyways the q2 is greater than 2 the new var value is 20 let's quickly look into our results and see are they appearing same yes they are appearing the same now to wrap up whenever we have if it looks into all observations and else if looks into only those observations which were not captured in this if statement but if you are going to use multiple ifs it is going to look into all the observations for first time all the observations for next time also and any of the value is qualified here will overwrite the previous value that is what we have seen in here because the value was 10 for this condition but it was overwritten by next if 
that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you